What's up guys, it's I Have No Kidneys here, or should I call myself NK? Hmm, I'm not sure, but anyway, this is episode number 29 of DNA Wednesday, and this week we've got an awesome DNA bomb from Chuk Racco, aka Ched, but also in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experiences at the EU Pro League, my first ever LAN event, and obviously first time ever casting at a LAN event, or casting Xbox for that matter, but all I'm going to say is... The weekend didn't start out as planned, but I'll go through that a little bit later on. So obviously, first up, I've already said this is a DNA bomb from Chute Racco, but this is during Clan Wars last weekend. And honestly, when I watched this gameplay, I was so entertained because no blast suppressor, which means everyone was running at him, uh, but he is using the HBR Insanity, the Melt Machine Insanity. And although it is a little bit scrubby on that front, it was still a great video as obviously this is Cryptic Gaming, just triple capping domination as we were going for very, very quick wins. So yeah, great DNA bomb from Racco. But anyway, this video is going to be all about my experiences at Gfinity. And as I said a little bit earlier on, it didn't start out as planned. And I'm going to explain to you right now what went wrong at first. Now, obviously, I was told the location and all that kind of stuff. But I wasn't given a postcode of where the Gfinity arena was. Because obviously I've never been, anything like that. And long story short, I put it into my phone. Um, you know, where is the G and E arena, so to speak? And it came up with this postcode. It was something like W something something. It might not even be W. I have no idea. I can't even remember. So, yeah, I typed it into my phone and it said, right, get off at this stop on the tube. Because, obviously, it's based in London. It said, right, get off at this stop and then you have to walk seven minutes. I was like, all right, no worries. So, I got off at a certain stop, started walking seven minutes, and it led me to the middle of nowhere. And I was stood in the middle of this kind of an urban area in London thinking, oh, hang on a minute, I think I'm in the wrong place here. So anyway, I started to really panic and I was like, oh my god, where the hell do I go? All that kind of stuff. So I actually had to ring up the uh, the events coordinator at Gfinity. So great first impression, I know. Ring him up saying, look, I'm really sorry, I'm late, I have no idea where I am, can you please help me out? But luckily he told me where it was. It was I was just at the wrong tube station completely, which is a bit embarrassing because I live in London, so I should know this stuff. But anyway, I eventually turned up, I walked into the arena, in my nice little shirt, all that kind of stuff, covered in sweat. And I was absolutely pouring with just pure sweat, as I've just said, and it just, it was not a great first impression whatsoever. And I walked into the talent room, got our own little player room with our fridges and all that kind of stuff. And I walked in, and the first person I saw there was Brycey, and I said, well, don't trust City Mapper. And he looked at me as if I was an absolute penis, and I thought, oh my god. What have I done? And I thought I was absolutely doomed from that moment on. I thought I've blown my chances of ever casting a LAN event. So I knew that when rehearsals came, I had to show people why I was there and what I was capable of because no one had ever heard of me. And yeah, I was a little bit of a randomer, to be honest with you. No one really understood my name or how to pronounce it. So obviously I went with IHNK and people thought it was Ink, but with a silent H. So, yeah, it wasn't great from the outset, but I was, after rehearsals, the guy I was casting was Marius, which is a, he's a top, top guy, and I couldn't, I've got no bad words to say about him whatsoever. It was great casting with him. But he turned around and said, well, you know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. You seem like you really know your stuff. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty confident. I know what I'm talking about, all that kind of stuff. And anyway, the hours went on, all that kind of stuff. And then, obviously, it was my first game to cast with Marius, and I sat there, and I was like, oh, my God. Bearing in mind, no one has ever seen what I look like from the Call of Duty community, apart from a few randomers, which kind of stalked my Instagram, which looked was strange, to be honest with you, but I'll save that for another time. But no one knew what I looked like. I was absolutely cacking my pants, thinking, oh my god, I'm going to get roasted. Bearing in mind, the week before, someone was getting roasted for the way they looked on Twitter, and I was like, oh, this is going to be me next week. But anyway, obviously we went live, and all of a sudden I got a flurry of tweets saying, I didn't know you were black. And I turned around and thought, I'm not black. I mean, I'm a little bit tan, but I'm not black. And anyway, long story short, people got me confused with Calvin. And Calvin, once again, not a bad word to say against him. My Nando's buddy. And yeah, everyone thought I was Calvin. And no, I wasn't Calvin. When it, when it eventually went to me, I got loads and loads of support in the stream. Everyone saying hashtag IHNK or hashtag CTIC takeover. Like, it was amazing to actually look at that chat because I was getting set, uh, sent screenshots via Twitter and via other means. And it was just amazing to see the response. So obviously, I started casting my first game. And it went really, really well. And yeah, I just kind of showed guys, or showed the guys what I was capable of. And as soon as the stream went off and all that kind of stuff, everyone came up to me and was like, wow, where did that come from? And obviously, uh, the head of G Online walked straight into the caster's room and said, 
you have just single-handedly impressed every single person in that production team. You know, we'll be seeing you back. And after that, I just felt so, so good about myself. I stayed and watched the rest of the stream. Obviously, we went into the second day and I had a second game, so I was casting with Tan as well as Marius. And, you know, it was a little bit different because I tried to talk a little bit less, show a little bit of versatility to my casting. And once the game went really, really well, got speaking to the head of GFINI Online and a couple other admins, including Jamie. Yes, Jamie, I've remembered you. Yes, you've still got to bring up GFINI Respawn, so I'm not going to stop bugging you about that. But anyway, uh, second day went really, really well. And yeah, I'm not going to say anything just yet, but it looks like I've got a little bit of a job set, which I'm really happy about. But guys, I just want to emphasize something. I've had a few tweets and stuff saying that I'm going to abandon PS4 and I'm abandoning Cryptic and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm not. Don't be daft. Um, you can ask Jamie. I'm going to mention him again. I've been bugging him all weekend saying, come on, bring back PS4 Respawn. It's got to be done. People are sick of just S&D for Gfinity. They want to see some paid respawn tournaments because it would just make everyone so happy. So I'm nagging everyone at all times. I'm also speaking to the head of uh, the online for Gfinity about a few opportunities with regards to the streaming and things like that. That's what I'm going to say, the streaming of Gfinity tournaments and how it can be improved and a few ideas I've got which I should be having a meeting later on today or tomorrow because I've just had a message through saying they need me to cast at LAN again tonight. So I won't be around much tonight if you're looking to get hold of me or respond to comments. It will take me a few days to get back to you. So yeah, over the next few days, I will be letting you know about Gfinity PS4 and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I'm not abandoning you. Please do not worry. I am PS4 through and through and you guys know that. But there's a DNA bomb from Racco. Finally got it with that insanity. But yeah, as I said, Gfinity, amazing experience. I can't wait to go back tonight and start casting again. And I can't wait to go back after that as well. It's probably in a few weeks time. But yeah. Generally speaking, if you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comments section or tweet me at IHNK underscore and I'll obviously get back to you. I've got loads of pictures from it which I'll probably be uploading to my Twitter over the next few days with a caster's room. I had my own BenQ monitor and my own gaming chair, whatever they're called. <clears throat> and it was absolutely humbling, to be honest with you. I was so quiet the whole weekend. I'm used to being the loud mouth. And yeah, being around the likes of Tan, Brycey, Calvin, obviously Gunshi, the legend himself, amongst others. It was very, very humbling. Speaking to all the pro players as well. First pro player I spoke to was Marky B, having a long conversation about PS4. Yeah, you guessed it, guys. So, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. But, yeah, that's everything for this week of DNA Wednesday. As I said, any questions, please let me know below. But generally speaking, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Any thoughts, drop a comment. And as always, hit that subscribe button. Cheers.